NVIDIA passed Microsoft to become the most valuable company in the world by market capitalization on Tuesday when the market was last open. Uh, joining us right now is Vivek Arya, a B of A Securities Senior Semiconductors Analyst. And Vivek, what do you think? This is uh, the big question. Can this run continue for NVIDIA? It's been an amazing turn of events, an amazing uh, huge run-up in market capitalization. Yeah, good morning. Um, I think that uh, short-term volatility is always uh, possible, but I think, uh, like with any stock, it's really about opportunity. It's about execution and valuation. On the opportunity side, uh, we think that the market for generative AI is just in the second year of what could be a three- to five-year uh, deployment cycle. Uh, the demand for hardware could triple to $300 billion over the next uh, few years. Secondly, um, you know, there, there is this temptation to compare it to the dot-com uh, boom, but what is different uh, is potentially that the dot-com boom was created by a lot of flaky business models fueled by debt. This time, uh, the spending is being done by companies with some of the best balance sheets on the planet, and this is their mission-critical uh, infrastructure. We have uh, CapEx from cloud customers growing 40 50% this year. Oracle just reported last week their CapEx will double in the next uh, fiscal year. And number three, valuation. Um, I know the stock has had a very strong run, but if you look at the broader S&P 500, it's trading at about two times earnings growth. But if you look at NVIDIA, trading at anywhere between 35 to 40 times, is actually less than one times uh, earnings growth. So by some measures, it is still quite um, inexpensive. The, uh, the creation of AI and this drive to go after it, you've compared this to kind of um, the, the same thing as the creation of fire. You want to explain what you mean? Yeah, what I mean by that, and, and obviously that's a somewhat more extreme uh, version of it, but what I really wanted to convey is that uh, this is a new and important and exciting and a fundamental uh, tool uh, that has been given uh, to the technology industry because uh, AI has been with us uh, for a long time, right? If you look at uh, Google Translate, if you look at the original version of Siri, I mean, we have had AI for a long time. But what is different with this AI is that it understands context, that it can be used to, you know, create, a, a, a extract a lot of insights from data that can be in voice, video, text uh, format, and then help to create um, from all that data. That's why we call it generative AI, not just conventional AI. And I think it has the power to transform a lot of uh, industries in ways we have just not uh, seen before. And secondly, uh, this new form of AI is coming at a time when traditional semiconductor technology, which was driven by Moore's law, has come to a standstill. So we needed to upgrade the infrastructure anyway. And I think AI is giving us that next opportunity to upgrade the infrastructure using this new form of accelerated uh, computing. So I do think it's a structurally a new tool. Every industry is looking at it, uh, trying to adopt it to extract insights from a lot of data that is just sitting there uh, doing nothing right now. But I think with this tool, uh, that in, those insights uh, can be uh, driven, and that's why it's the start of a new industry. NVIDIA has such a huge lead over any of its competitors. I guess the question is, can anybody catch them, and if so, who? Yeah, I think uh, customers will have uh, choices. If we look at uh, this 100 billion or so market uh, for hardware this year, NVIDIA has about 80 plus percent of that. We think custom chips are another 10, 15 percent of that. And then the remaining 5 percent, right, you will see a lot of smaller players, whether it is, it is AMD, whether it is Intel, where the, you know, whether there's a lot of uh, startups. But we do expect NVIDIA to maintain its 80 plus percent market share for the reason that this is the norm in technology. If you look at any part of technology, right, whether it's social, e-commerce, operating systems, um, right, you will see that the leader keeps 80 percent of the market. Right? But you still have a long tail of uh, competitors. And I think it, we think it's going to be no different in AI, where the leader, you know, as long as they continue to execute, which we have every confidence they will, we think they'll sh they should be able to keep over 80% of this market, which in our uh, estimation could triple over the next uh, few years.